Hi guys, my name's Matt. Welcome to another episode of the Armourer's Bench. Last summer I had the chance to visit the newly renovated Cody Firearms Museum at the Buffalo Bill Centre of the West in Cody, Wyoming. With the ongoing corona pandemic I thought now would be a good time to finally finish my walk around video taking a look at the new museum. The museum has always been an extremely impressive collection of firearms and gun related artefacts some of which we've been lucky enough to feature in videos here on the channel. But the new museum puts more of these amazing firearms on display than ever before. The $12 million renovation has also allowed the museum to become much more interactive, with working models, touch screens and shooting simulators. A new intuitive layout lets you explore firearms history either by chronology or by theme. Here we can see some of the displays in the chronological gallery that shows the evolution of civilian and military firearms from their invention to the present day. I won't say too much more, I'll let the exhibits do the talking, but I'll chime in now and then to mention some of the features I really liked. The newly refurbished museum puts the collection front and centre in a way that will enthrall anyone that visits, be they the average museum goer or the most avid gun enthusiast. One of the features that I really like is that many of the cases can be viewed from both sides, allowing you to see all around the firearms. Some galleries have pull out drawers with extra artifacts, and what's not to like about a drawer full of glocks?
This section was especially cool, with pull-out racks full of various models from companies like Savage, Colt and Marley, as well as drawers with original engineering drawings. The new museum retains one of the old museum's best features, a recreation of a gun factory's machine shop. Here's a gallery of ornately decorated firearms which includes some incredible pieces. There's a sporting gallery that looks at the history of shooting sports right up to the present day. Here are some more hands-on displays explaining how things like triggers work. Unsurprisingly, the military gallery was one of my favourite parts of the museum, with dozens of guns organised by conflict and period. Around the exhibits are touch screens, where you can call up more information, like first-hand war stories and even animations of how various firearms work. This interactive screen has personal accounts from all of the major wars the US has been involved in, alongside examples of the firearms that were used in those conflicts. One surprise feature of the military gallery is a pneumatic M2 Browning. Fun, but not quite the same recoil as the real thing.
One of the most interesting little sections is a recreation of a general store, showing off some of the items that companies like Winchester made alongside their well-known firearms. It's really cool to see all this old ammunition packaging. These interactive screens give a really cool historic overview of various guns of the West, showing how they worked, who designed them, and where they were used. There's some really great animations of the gun's mechanisms. Downstairs is a space dedicated to experimental prototypes and a rolling wall of cases that includes examples of dozens of types of firearms and ammunition. And there's even a case dedicated to the history of air rifles. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this walk around the newly refurbished Cody Firearms Museum. The museum's well worth a visit, and after the coronavirus pandemic has passed and we're all able to travel again, I definitely encourage everyone to go and visit. Thanks again for watching, if you enjoyed the video please consider supporting us over on Patreon and via coffee.com for one time donations. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks again, see you in the next one.